Hello again. Thankfully, this week won't be as wet as the weekend was. That's not difficult, but there will still be some rain or showers during the next few days because we've still got low pressure centred on top of the UK. It's an old low and it's tending to recycle these weather fronts. They're swirling around, they're decaying features, but they're still bringing outbreaks of rain or showers. And Monday evening sees the wettest weather returning to Western Scotland. Some persistent rain here as well as for Northern England. Elsewhere it's showers and clear spells. They're a real mixed bag out there. Some heavy showers pushing back into Wales and southern and central parts of England. England. Further showers in the northeast of Scotland, but in between a few clear spells. Quite chilly actually as we start the day on Tuesday in the north of Scotland, where we get some shelter, some light winds, and so on. A few mist patches across central Scotland, and still that persistent rain, a damp start there for western areas. But that turns to showers as it crosses the country, and well, by the afternoon, most places in the same bag. Sunny spells and heavy downpours. The heaviest showers across central and southern parts of the UK with hail and thunder in places. A gusty wind making it feel cool, 15 to 16 Celsius at best. But that will help to carry these showers through quite briskly. And by the evening, most of the showers in the west, clear spells in the east. And it's another night in which where we get some shelter from the winds, where we get some clear spells. We'll get temperatures down to the low single figures across, say, northern Britain. But generally, the wind's stirring things up enough to keep those temperatures at around 9 to 12 Celsius as we start off Wednesday. A bright start to Wednesday. You can see actually plenty of sunshine for England, Wales, southern Scotland. Further showers into northern Scotland, however, as well as parts of Northern Ireland. And then showery rain pushing into parts of western England and Wales by the end of the day. 14 to 15 Celsius. Lighter winds, I think, in the south for a time. But watch the weather front here in the south as it just dangles its way across southern parts of the country. And there's some uncertainty about how far north and how developed this will be. But there's a strong chance that throughout Thursday and much of Friday it'll be wet across southern parts of the UK, perhaps windy as well. Meanwhile, in the north, low pressure will bring further showers and mixture of sunny spells and showers through Thursday, Friday, and into the start of the weekend. The weather front to the south clears, improving picture as high pressure builds in from the west. But this high is taking its time to arrive. And I think that as we start off the weekend, this is how things look. Low pressure to the east of the UK, high pressure to the west. So tending to settle things down from the west, but in between a northerly squeeze and uh, the extent of the cold weather coming in from the north there indicated by the colours on the map, and that will be cold enough to bring snow to the peaks of the Scottish mountains and a frost in any sheltered spots as we start off the weekend. So a lot going on this week, but hopefully not as impactful as the, all that wet weather that we saw at the weekend. Follow us on social media and we'll keep you updated right here. Bye bye.